In the 1970s, when we put GPS satellites in the world, it was a transformative technological innovation. It's really the driving force behind a lot of the navigation and other capabilities we have today. And there's this really unfortunate breaking point where once you walk into a building, GPS doesn't work anymore. So that's actually what a lot of our research has been around lately, is the broader concept of indoor localization. How do we figure out exactly where people, or perhaps more interesting, robots and other things are in space? My current research project is called Luxipose, and it's this idea of trying to use visible lights to tell you where exactly you are in space. So the idea is not so different from the way we crossed the ocean in the 1500s. You look at the sky, you know where the stars in the sky are, and you can figure out where you are. So we do the same thing with the lights that are already in the ceiling. What we do is we exploit a little trick in the way that smartphone cameras work. Instead of taking what they call a global shutter, that is one capture of the scene at once, they have a rolling shutter. So one column of pixels at a time, just really quickly. Our lights, if you look at them, aren't actually on all the time. What they're doing is they're blinking faster than you can see. So when that camera takes that rolling shutter going across, you're going to get some when the light is on, some when the light is off, and you're going to get this banding pattern. And that banding pattern is unique for every light, letting us label the stars and letting us figure out where exactly you are in the room. The most rewarding part of my research is what our whole lab is really shifting to right now, which is this growing emphasis on deployment. We've shown that we can build a lot of these cool little sensors, and we've shown that we can build a lot of cool things. But what we're trying to show now is that they actually make sense to use in the real world today, and you can start to have some amount of impact with them. Graduate school at Michigan really, really made a lot of sense. We have not just a world-class computer science department, but a world-class electrical engineering department and they actually work really well together. And you can build these huge integrated projects, you can build these really neat ideas that I could count on maybe one hand the number of other institutions in the world where you can build something like this. I fell in love with embedded systems because it covers this awesome vertical slice, which you don't get in any other space. And you get to do these cross-cutting kind of things that other people don't think about. You get this whole system view that's a much bigger challenge and way more, that's, that's what I think is fun, it's kind of this big picture view of the world. <laughs>